Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy guacamole recipe. You can keep it simple with just three ingredients or you can add some extras and make it just how you like it. Start by washing your hands with warm water, plenty of soap, and remember to scrub for 20 seconds. You can also put on an apron and close toed shoes. You'll need a bowl, a knife, a potato masher or fork, and a spoon. For ingredients, you'll need two avocados, one lime, and salt. It's best to buy your avocados hard and then ripen them on the counter for a couple days. The avocado is ripe when it feels like your nose. Now we cut the avocado long ways. I recommend getting help with this. Go all the way around and twist and open. Now you can use your hand to take out the pit if the avocado is ripe enough. If not, again get some help and have an adult take it out with a knife. Use a spoon to scrape out the insides. Don't be afraid of a little bit of brown. It's much better to have a ripe avocado than an underripe avocado. Watch out for this little bit of stem. It can often fall out and get into your guacamole. Now do the second half, just like the first. You'll also do the second avocado, just like this. Now use a potato masher or a fork to mash up your avocado. It's okay if you don't get every little bit mashed up, but do try to get all the avocado on the bottom. It likes to hide down there. Cut your lime in half, make sure to curl those fingers under. And we'll just use our hand to squeeze that lime juice into the avocado. Keep turning to get all the juice out. Now, I like a lot of lime juice, so I'm gonna add just a little more from the second half, but if you want, you can wait until the end to taste it and then add more lime juice. Now put about this much salt in your palm. Measure out three large pinches. You'll also want to taste at the end and add more salt if it needs it. Now stir up your guacamole. The most important part is that you taste it. Add more lime juice or salt until it's just right. Some people like to keep it simple, but if you do want to add a couple more things, you could add any of the following. Garlic, tomato, cilantro, cumin, or a jalapeno. For simplicity, I'll just show you how to do garlic and cilantro. Cut off the tip of the garlic. Get those skins off your cutting board. Now use a fist to smash the garlic. This makes it a lot easier to peel. Curl those fingers under in a claw and do some nice thin slices. Now wipe those slices into a pile. Mince back and forth with your other hand flat on top of the knife. Mincing does take a long time, so be patient. You only need about half of a garlic clove. Stir up your garlic. Now onto the cilantro. Pull off the leaves from the stems and put them in a pile. You'll just need one stem of cilantro. Now mince just like we did with the garlic, except this time it doesn't have to be quite as small. Put your cilantro on top. Stir in those leaves. Now if you like, you can add a dash of cumin, some minced jalapeno, or some chopped tomato. Add some cilantro leaves for garnish. And that's it. 
Enjoy, and don't forget to clean up.